So you just created your own AI tool using Mind Studio. But wouldn't it be cool if you can embed it into your own website? Well, now you can. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. YouTube, what's good, y'all? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to embed your new AI into your own website so your users can come right to you. If you aren't familiar with Mind Studio, it's a dope platform where you can build your own AI tools in minutes with no code. In my last video, I built my own AI. Now I'm gonna show you how to embed it into three different builders, starting with Wix. Let's go. All right, head on over to uai.ai, click on my AIs. All right, select your AI, click the three dots, then click edit. And in the middle section, go over to metadata. So this is where you'll set the description, your icon, your landing page, branding, etc. But go down to access, click embedding. All right. So this top section is where you will actually whitelist your domain. So you want to type your domain here. So mine, marshallbox.com. But this is the trick with Wix, okay? <laughs> this is the trick. I don't know why, but for some reason, you have to put your domain in a different format. So this is the format. So it's www dash your domain dash com dot f i l e s u s r dot com files user i don't know it's not in my studio thing it's a wix thing okay but for some reason this is the format so just replace my domain with yours all right so then we'll click save here i can go ahead and remove this but save this. So that's what you have to do for Wix. So I'll show you how to embed it into Wix now. All right, in Wix, select your site, click edit, then go to your page where you wanna embed your AI. Then I'll click this add button here and go down to embed code and add this embed HTML to your screen. All right, so I wanna resize it, but I'll adjust the sizing in a second. And here's where I'll paste the code that I got from UAI. So in UAI, I copied this embed code and paste it here. So you may have to remove these numbers, hit update, and you'll see your AI start to load. So I'm gonna adjust the sizing of it. It may say there's an error loading, but just hit preview and boom, there you go. So as you can see, I need to adjust the size of the box. So I'll do that here. Of course, to get more specific with the sizing, you can adjust the code here. But if I navigate to this page, it'll be there. So here we are, it's loading in. So as you can see, it starts from your first question. So if you wanted to have a separate landing page that leads to this, you can do that, or you can use UAI's landing page. But you can have this behind a paywall on your site. The possibilities really are endless. So that's the regular editor, but in Wix Studio, it works pretty much the same. You'll click this add elements button, then go down to embed in social, then click this embed code button right here. So this is where you would add your code. So that's Wix Studio. The naming convention still remains the same. So just keep this naming convention in mind here. So that's how to embed your AI into Wix. Next, let's head over to Squarespace. All right, here we are inside of Squarespace. So this is a site I just started for the purpose of this video. So I'm gonna copy this domain and paste it into the authorized domains here, and then click save. And I'll click publish just to be on the safe side. So I'll go to the site, go to the section where you wanna embed your AI. So I'll click add section, add a blank section. So I'm gonna add a block and go down to code. Click this pencil button. I'll delete this code out of it and then paste the code. All right, paste this code from the back of my studio. So again, grab the code from here and paste this here. All right. So it says embedded scripts. You have to preview in a safe mode. That's fine. So I'll just make this wider. Let's preview in a safe mode. Boom. There it is. So of course you can center it and format it however you want. But as of now, this is how it looks, okay? So that's Squarespace and our last stop is Webflow. All right, here we are inside of Webflow. Select your site, click open designer, go to the area where you want to embed your AI. So I'll just put it here. So I'll click this plus button, 
scroll down to advanced then drag this embed element over now I'll just paste the code here so I'll save and close it and it tells you that it'll only appear on your published site so I'll publish this but first what did I forget we have to add the domain to the whitelist okay so let me grab this domain so ironically I'll publish it first click this grab it from here so this is the domain here and I'll paste it here and it'll drop the HTTPS but it'll still be right so I'll click save here so as you can see since I didn't whitelist the domain it says there's an error loading this AI so make sure you add it to this list and it'll show up And boom, that's Webflow. So that was just three different builders out of tons, right? But for the other builders, it'll work essentially the same way. If you have any trouble, refer to that builder's documentation on how to embed code. And if you haven't started using or building your own AIs, head on over to UAI using the link in the description, then come back and let me know what you built. And hey, after you hit that like button, if you haven't seen my interview with one of the minds behind my studio, Dimitri Shapiro, you should check that out next. And as always, I appreciate y'all for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Peace.